greatest right now. I'm actually kind of stressed. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. Happy Tuesday. I had my Ambien last night, so I was able to sleep. Woo! High five. Ready? Boom! Um, I was going to record a day in my life video today, and then the morning got started, and I was like, uh, well, I'll try again Thursday. And plus, I've got stuff I need to get done today anyway. So, dogs got fed. I got fed. Got dressed. Now I'm at the school, about to go in to go to class. Um, I'm dressed kind of nice because I'm going to be going by Chick-fil-A, Petco, probably Grandpa's. See about getting hired. Because, oh my gosh, this is such a pain to deal with. It's ridiculous. But I need a job so desperately. <laughs> um... Today, I definitely want to work on heel with MRL because that's something he really needs to know and really needs to work on. So, there you go. But yeah, just wanted to check in and tell you guys good morning. Good morning. It's great to see your face or the screen. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hey guys, so right now I am about to grab lunch at Subway. Yum. Um, so, class went well. Went to Chick-fil-A, went to the guy that I was told to talk to. Apparently he's not the right guy to talk to, but he gave my information to the team that's hiring. So knock on wood. I know it's imaginary wood, but you know, it works the same. Um, went to Petco, they've hired somebody. So my hopes have been kind of dashed and I feel bad because I've been annoying them over and over again. But the main reason was this person could do full time and I can't. So that's fine. I understand that. I'm just a little bit bummed out now because I'm just like, okay, now what do I do? Um, so now I'm going to get a Subway sandwich, go play Phase 10 with mom and her coworkers, and then I'll probably go by grandpa's and fill out an application with them. So I could try to get a job somewhere. And I mean, if needed, I may have to expand my horizons. Um, my only, like, experience I've had with jobs is being a camp counselor, so working with people a lot being a tutor or working with animals and vets offices. That's all I've done. Oh, and the tutoring thing also did not work because they mainly use students who are qualified for work study. I'm not qualified and the budget cannot handle bringing on someone not work study qualified. So that is how the tutoring thing is going. But you know, I'm, while I am kind of bummed out, I'm still searching. I thought about going back to the vets offices that I did work at but I'm not sure right now, especially if there's a Parvo case. I really don't want to jeopardize MRL's health at all. I mean, I've been around Parvo pups, and if I've touched a puppy earlier, then I'm not allowed to touch Parvo puppies. I'm not allowed to handle them, clean their kennel, nothing. But now since I own a puppy, and especially since this puppy is going to be a service dog, I want... I don't want to jeopardize him whatsoever. I want to make absolutely sure that he is safe and healthy. So maybe the vet's offices won't work. Because, I mean, I've done veterinary assistant. I've also done kennel staff, which both require being around, potentially being around parvo pups. So I'll figure something out. But in the meantime, I'm going to go grab me some food.
right now, I am on my way to the store because I need to go pick up some stuff. Um, not feeling the greatest right now. I'm actually kind of stressed. Um, so I did have my training session with MRL today, but it didn't go very well. Um, he was just distractions everywhere, barely listening, and that was getting me frustrated. And then I started feeling bad because I'm like, I know I don't need to be frustrated with him. He's just a baby, blah, blah, blah. But I was still frustrated. <laughs> so, and then apparently little man has not been wanting to listen today. He's been running away from mom and dad and trying to run after Riddler. So he's been getting in trouble. And right before I left, he ran out of the house towards Riddler and would not listen to me or dad. So he got in big trouble. And I'm looking up tips on how to work with heel, but right now I just feel so frustrated because I'm like, he acts better than this. I know he does, but today he's just not. And I know I need to remember that he's still a freaking puppy and puppies will be puppies, but still it doesn't change how frustrating the whole situation is. And of course, with all this frustration that I'm having, my brain's like, let's throw on the fact that you're comparing yourself to other handlers that you see like on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever and how they're all better than you which of course I don't think I'm better than anybody like no I know I'm not but it's like you know they're much better train your dogs than you, than you they probably don't get as frustrated with them as you do like you screw up everything and of course that is getting to me and making me even more frustrated but mainly more frustrated with myself. So I'm like, well, who freaking Ray? <sighs> Training Ganesti is very difficult. Know that, guys. If you are on this journey for a service dog and you're going to be owner training too, it's tough. I thought the search was tough. The search was tough, but training is just as difficult. And of course, I love Emerald. I love him more than anything in the world. I'm scared that this frustration will make him get anxious around me and make him not want to work, which sucks since that's what he's for. <sighs> I'm just so frustrated now at this point with mainly myself. This is my personal hell right now. I, of course, am very frustrated in getting here and I'm super anxious and stressed. Ah, the joys of grocery shopping. <sighs> um, I have a list that's making me anxious remembering that list, and then there's a few things that I want to get, and I don't want to overspend, and just, I hate shopping. I really, really hate shopping, especially since I'm using my parents' debit card, and I don't want to overspend, so, uh, welcome to hell. Hey, guys. So, there's Mr. Ramorel sleeping on my bed. He's a good baby. And then there's Riddler playing with MRL's Chewy, and I think Sassy's downstairs with Mom and Dad. <clears throat> so, tonight was pretty eventful, pretty draining. Um, of course, another fun thing with things that bother you or anxiety, whatever, is things pile up and they just snowball. So I was frustrated about training, and then, of course, anxiety at the grocery store, which snowballed into... <clears throat> coming home and I had spent more money than I was supposed to which snowballed into my parents like threatening to spank Emerel because of him going potty inside the house which I know my like, people are are weird about spanking personally I would spank a child um and Riddler and Sassy were both spanked as puppies and they were fine the problem I'm having here with MRL, two things. One, if you spank him over potty issues, it's like like what someone told me on Instagram. It's like, would you spank a baby from going potty in a diaper when you're trying to get them to use the toilet? No. They're babies. They're not going to know. He's still a baby. He's still learning. And I mean... Using physical punishment has been known to cause fear and other problems in dogs. And this little guy right here has a huge job one day when he gets all grown up. 
you're going to be my service dog, Pepperdew. And I don't want to set him up for failure by him getting spanked, which would cause more fear and anxiety in him that he would get from me, even though he's supposed to help me with my anxiety. So I don't want to screw him up, and that's a huge thing that I panic about. And I don't think I got my parents to understand that when I said, like, that it's not a good idea to. Um, like, I have done... Like, there were a lot of suggestions people were giving me, because I also posted on the Positivity Only Service Dog page. Um, I got a lot of tips, which a lot of it was stuff I already do. Like, he is crate trained. I take him outside on a leash. He only goes in two spots. Um, I take him out when he's done playing, after eating, when we wake up, when we go to bed, and anytime I see him sniffing around. Um, if he starts using the bathroom in the house, I immediately get him to stop and take him outside. And he gets treats for going potty outside. But, it's also something along the line of, like, my parents aren't ne don't necessarily follow exactly what I do with MRL. Um, especially with my dad. He thinks, oh, just let all the dogs out and they'll come back. No, you have to put MRL on a leash. He will not go potty when the other dogs are around because that is a huge distraction for him. Whether he's on a leash or not. And just so many things that I wish I could discuss with my parents about why I don't want to spank my dog. But, I know they won't listen to me. Because that just tends to happen. Like, they know their ways, and I know my ways, but they don't understand why I want my ways. Because I know that Riddler and Sassy have been spanked, and they're fine. But it's different with MRL, since I don't want to make him fearful of a job that is supposed to help with fear, so uh, it's just really irritating. So that is piled on, and just, there was some other comment that was made, I can't remember what it was, no, that was piled on. Ended up having to go upstairs and just cry. I could not take any more of basically feeling like I am an ultimate failure at being a handler, and that I don't know what the crap I'm doing, and just not, not good at all. I also got some tips on training sessions with him, so that'd be good. Um... So, to any of you guys out there who are on the Facebook page or on my Instagram giving advice, thank you. I really appreciate it. It really helped me calm down and made me see, okay, there are people who care. Even when my brain is like, they don't, but I see that they do. And these people understand that I'm wanting success in my dog. Because in the end, for all of us owner trainers, the ultimate goal is to have our wonderful service dog. And that's what I want for Mr. Morell. I want him to be successful. Right, buddy? Do you want to be successful? Yeah? I know. You want me up, Mommy. Why? Look at this cutie patootie. You're like, what? You're going to be 15 weeks pretty soon? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And your brother's chewing on the chewy very loudly. Riddler! Hi, buddy. Did you actually take off a chunk of that? I can't tell. My, glass, my contacts are out, so I don't know if he actually ripped off a chunk of the chewy, but I will be finding out. But, yeah, now I'm feeling like I'm calm back down. I think there's like a slight mini breakdown anxiety frustration just all compiled into one. Oh, and also f losing a flash drive that has my resume on it, which I think, if I know right, I think I know where it is. But it still freaked me out because I need that resume for a job. Um, that I think I have a good chance of getting in, so. Yay. <sighs> but now, it's time to, to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. 
Um, let's see. I've been seeing stuff from people about, like, their mental health hasn't been doing well or physical health hasn't been doing well. So, in the comments below, I want you guys to just write encouragement for each other. Like, I'll even put a comment down below and just write out something encouraging for all of you guys. We could just all share in the encouraging words together in the ambiance. Because we could all use some encouragement, right? So, leave your encouraging words down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye-bye, Red Emerald. Bye-bye, Sleep Snoot. Riddler! 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 Well, good night, meanie butt, who is ignoring me.